Nitika Chopra here, and I have a very special episode of What's Hot and Healing for you today. I have a very dear friend with me, Yasmani. I'm so happy that you're here with me. And I actually wanted to tell you about him and his amazing organization, We Believe in Balloons. It's a project for social change, an art project for social change. How do I say it? Yeah, it's an art project for, so for social, social change. change yeah. Okay. So I wanted to tell you all about it. It's called We Believe in Balloons, and it's incredible because you can all get involved. Involved. And I also wanted to let you know how what he is doing is completely healing the planet. And we're all about what's hot and healing. So we're going to start with that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about We Believe in Balloons and how they can all be involved and create a healing change in the world. Great, Nerika. So the idea was to create this campaign in which we could focus on the art and culture of Afghanistan. Uh, right now we have this single narrative, this single story of catastrophe we all think of Afghanistan, we all think of Kabul. It's, you know, people think automatically about war, yes. about fear, about terrorism. Uh, the truth is that that is part of their story. Uh, there's actually beautiful, amazing people yeah. there in Afghanistan who are creating culture, who are creating art. And oftentimes there are young people who are doing beautiful yes. things. And I thought that through creating uh, uh, this project, We Believe in Balloons, uh, in which you can actually go on the website, webelieveinballoons.com, buy one balloon for one dollar, and uh, we will actually give your balloon on your behalf to somebody in Afghanistan one Monday morning this coming uh, in a couple of months uh, yeah. in May. Um, yes. Uh, but the idea is to really create a framework in which we can celebrate the art and the humanity of these people who've that. endured, uh, you know, such a long, a long period of, of, of difficulty. And struggle, and yeah. And, and the part I love about it is that we're talking to people that are just like us, just like all of you out there. Mm -hmm. All the beauties of Afghanistan need some love, too. And... I definitely love the way that you involve them. And so the whole point is that we're going to have 10,000 pink balloons all over the city of Kabul, right? Yeah, and, and what's important is that the balloons are biodegradable. Yes. Every single citizen is told that to bring their balloon to work. So we'll give them away. We'll tell them that this is about celebrating them and what they do with their life. Yeah. And they'll go to the bakery. They'll, they'll go to the mechanic shop. They'll go to the office. Yes. Uh, whatever they do with their lives, and they'll bring their balloon with them. It's yes. about celebration. They'll bring their light with them is really what they're doing because the balloons symbolizing light and peace and Innocence, love, not love war. and hope and hope i love that i love so. that so that is definitely our first what's hot and healing item for today and again we'll link everything below go to we believe in balloons.com and again it's one dollar beauty so i and, don't want to oh, hear actually any it's one dollar and a smile it's really yes. important that when you actually buy your balloon mm -hmm. you upload a picture of your smile because we want to be able to show people in afghanistan all the people from around the world who yes. believe in art and culture and believe in them and not war and I, I think it's really that. important to have all of those faces of all of that energy Absolutely. of people coming together to really make a difference. Yeah, I mean, our faces are on there, so we want to see your faces on there. And what is your next item, Yaz? I want to talk to you about the rest of your hot and healing items. Well, one of the things that I find uh, really hot and healing for yes. me is when I'm in New York, when I'm commuting, when I'm traveling on a plane, I always download TED Talks. Um, yes to my iPod, and I, I'm able to listen to TED Talks. You know, I, I download a, an array of TED Talks, but some of my favorites, for example, I love uh, Chimamanda Adichie. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a Nigerian writer. I'll have that name for you down below, don't worry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> she's a Nigerian writer who, who spoke about the idea of the danger of the single story. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I love, love, love what, what love she has that. to say about that. Also, Elizabeth Gilbert's talk on uh, nurturing creativity and mm -hmm. new constructs for how we think about creativity in contemporary times. Yes. I love I love the way she speaks about that. I love that. So being on the road, being, you know, from one place to the next, you have your headphones in, you're sort of gearing and, and focusing on a different part of, of life. Yeah, and, I love that because we're so intense all the time, like focusing on, you know, exactly what we have to do in that moment. So you're really inviting new energy, just kind of breaking up the intensity of your day, and I think that's really great. Yeah. That's perfect. And all of you can do that. Tag Talks are free to watch online, and again, I'll link them below. So what's your third hot and healing item? Well, I was just telling a friend yesterday um, that it's, I, I love the idea of, you know, again, as, as you said, we are always focusing on ourselves, yes. our own narrative. I think it's incredibly important to actually focus on other people's narratives and other people's struggles. Mm -hmm. And so going to a dog shelter, going to mm -hmm. um, a home full for the elderly and yes. volunteering. Yeah. So sort of taking time away from your daily 
day to day and, and going away like on a, on a Saturday or on a Sunday, yeah. going to a soup kitchen yeah. and like really focusing on somebody else's Absolutely. difficulties because I think when you come back to your life from those experiences, you have a new perspective on how to resolve totally. your own issues. I love that. And you know, even taking it one step further, I feel like if you don't have time or that's like your biggest excuse, you don't have time to go volunteer, you could even just think of someone in your life who yeah. you know is going through something. Maybe they need, you know, a nice warm meal and that would really cheer up their day mm -hmm. or, you know, a phone call from you telling them how much you love them would be really great. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, that or a handwritten postcard. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm thinking so about you. easy. Yeah. So hot and healing is giving back, stepping out of your own fierce, into intense zone and getting into creativity and listening to other people's inspiring stories. And last but of course not least, we believe in balloons. And I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful faces on the mural that they have on their website. And I'm so excited for the 10,000 pink balloons that are going to be in Kabul. And I'm excited that all of you are going to be hot and healing this week. So let us know what you think below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, go to webelieveinballoons.com and I will see you <laughs> next time. Thanks for being Thank here, Yaz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye.